yesterday was officially Veterans Day. Today we observe the national holiday. Veterans are some of the most special people in our nation, but they deal with a lot. And with us today is Delisa Russell, who works at Veterans One Stop right here in Waco. She helps uh, veterans with everyday needs. Delisa, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. You and I were talking about yesterday about what veterans talk to you about, but it might surprise you what that actually happens. Let's talk about that a little bit. Actually, you know, that, that was one thing that surprised me the most whenever we were, uh, when I first came to the Veterans One Stop. Um, you know, I was thinking of it as a resource center. What are we going to do to give back to our veterans? Yeah. And what I learned really quickly is that our veterans want to give back to us, and yeah. they want to give back to each other. And you know, it's too bad that we had a couple of parades canceled today, but you had the chance to go to a parade. Let's take some sights and sound, uh, some sights of the parade you were at yesterday as you rode down the streets in Austin. Yeah, I actually walked down the streets in Austin. I was pretty excited. My husband and I were uh, with our senator. We, uh, we were with the general counsel from France, uh, from Great Britain, as well as we even had some German friends along with us as, as well. So it was, a, it was quite an honor to be able to represent Central Texas in the parade. And you know, you've got a lot of great things, great veterans here that you get to meet every day uh, at the Veterans One. You also brought some props with you too for some folks that made some things. I did. Yeah. I want to do a shout out to, uh, to our uh, Midway Junior High that actually made some wonderful uh, thank you notes uh, for our veterans that we were going to give out at the parade, but we'll be giving them out Friday at our at our Thanksgiving meal. So thank you uh, for everyone that dropped off things for our veterans. I got you. So what's the biggest message veteran want, all, wants all of us to give on this and receive here on this Veterans Day Observed? You know, I do believe that the, the phrase, thank you for your service, is wonderful. Um, but thinking about the families as well as the veterans, the, the, the ones that stayed at home, I just think that, that we want to say never forget. I think that there was, that was a message that was conveyed already that, that we never forget. We never forget which conflict it was but that we'll never forget the sacrifices that everyone made. Delisa, you do some great things at Veterans One Stop. Thank you so much. Stick around. We're going to talk a little bit more later. Does that sound all right? That sounds great. Thank well, you. Thank you so much. We've heard quite a bit about what Veterans One Stop does, and that includes help those veterans struggling with PTSD. Our Monica Quintero is live at the Veterans One Stop. and joins us now live. Good morning again, Monica. Good morning, Vince. We have heard the heartbreaking stories. It is a struggle for many veterans, especially when they're contending with PTSD and other mental health issues. The good news, though, there is help available here at the Veterans One Stop Center. I am joined now by Dr. Michael Russell. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good morning. It's good to see you. Talk to me a little bit about the services and, and what is available for veterans here. I think you're very fortunate to be a veteran here in Waco because we have an excellent VA facility which specializes in mental health. I actually work at the VA hospital and then we have also this marvelous Veterans One Stop which is funded by a million dollar grant from the Texas Veterans Commission and it provides mental health care as well. I think it's easy to take these things for granted. You were telling me this is bigger than facilities even in the bigger cities here in Texas such as Dallas or Austin. I mean we are incredibly blessed, right? Right. There really isn't anything like this in Austin or Dallas and there are much larger cities. They're actually kind of jealous of us and want to set one up <laughs> themselves. Uh, but you know, you can come in here any day and ask for help. You'll be seen the same day and no charge if you're a veteran or a family member, which is amazing. If someone hasn't taken part in the process yet, what can they expect? Is it counseling? Uh, can they talk with a therapist? What exactly is involved in this process? It can be a little intimidating until you actually come in. Oh, absolutely. Okay, so they have case managers. They have licensed professional counselors who will work with you on a variety of issues. They'll work with family issues. And they have a drug and alcohol counselor as well who can work with substance abuse issues. So it's all here. Lots of different services available made easy. Dr. Michael Russell, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. My pleasure. All right, Vince, we're going to toss it back to you. Thank you so much. Let's toss it over to Aaron for weather. Aaron, what's going on? Well, we're tracking Arctic air moving into central Texas. We've got.